Uh, memories of my Scotland debut um, slightly sparse at this point in time. Uh, it was South Africa in 1997, December 1997, and it was a th- second in the, the Autumn Internationals. We were 13 7 down at half time. I think which ended up 68-10 in favour of South Africa at the end. So um, a little bit of chasing about in the second half and uh, a bit of a, a welcome to international rugby. Ken Dalglish, not a Celtic uh, top, but more likely in a Liverpool top or um, a Scotland top. I went to see the game against Spain where he scored the, the third goal. Uh, I just remember kind of falling off the the, the, the terracing uh, of my father catching me, I think, as, a, as, the, as the crowd erupted. I think winning a Scotland shirt is is the is the, one of the best achievements you can get as a Scotland player. So, looking back at probably the, the Paris game in, in '99, where we uh, we gave ourselves a shot at the at the championship that year, and, and funnily enough, that Wales turned up and did us a favour the next day, and we walked away with it. So, I think the, the game out in Paris uh, will certainly uh, live long in my memory. Everything we tried came off. So, I think. Uh, you know, every every move we had, every every line break, uh, we managed to to um, convert, uh, and really just was a bit of a surreal moment in the in the French springtime sun. I think the toughest opponent would have to be uh, the South African front three. I think they, they put a lot of pressure through the through the hooker, uh, depending who it was. I think I played John Smith a couple of times, um, so I think for 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 a a hooker, you know, from a, a smaller side uh, as we as we were, and in, in, in when I played, that uh, I think uh, they were always the really really tough games. You know, if you could if you could get the scrum, get the ball coming back in the scrum, and, and getting it to, to scrum half clean, then you you were on to a winner. But uh, if if you you hung about for five six seconds, you really felt the pressure come on, and, and it, you felt it through the rest of the game. Favourite Scotland player of all time would have to be Gary Armstrong um, and I had a, the pleasure of playing alongside him for a couple of years. Um, I do remember briefly when I was young I went to to watch uh, Jed Forrest and my father was actually refereeing and uh, I was really disappointed because Roy Laidlaw wasn't playing but I was told that this young chap was actually quite good as well so I should really kind of pay attention because he might make it uh, in the years to come and, and obviously Gary went on to have the career he did and, and it was just a pleasure to play alongside him for a couple of years. 